Here is the derivation for the moment generating function of a random variable x that has the gamma distribution with scale parameter lambda and shape parameter kappa. The moment generating function for any random variable is the expected value of e to the tx by definition. For the gamma distribution, because it's continuous, you will have an integral. And because its support is x greater than 0, the, uh, it, the limits on the integral will go from 0 to infinity. e to the tx comes down here. And here is f of x for a gamma random variable. Now you will notice that lambda to the kappa is free of x, so it can come out in the numerator. And gamma of kappa is also free of x, so it can come out front of the integral in the denominator. That leaves you with the integral from 0 to infinity of x to the kappa minus 1 multiplied by e to the minus lambda minus t times x. Now just as was the case in the exponential distribution, the only way for that integral to converge is to have this exponent in front of x be negative, and that is the same as saying lambda minus t has got to be greater than 0. Notice that if you bring t to the other side, this is the same as saying t is less than lambda, and that's what you're going to get out here for the final condition. So going from this step to the next step, we make a substitution. And that is we're going to let y equal lambda minus t times x. Now why did we think of that? We want to take this e raised to a power here and simplify what is up in the exponent. When you make that substitution, the integral will look like this. Notice we have lambda to the kappa and gamma of kappa out front again. You will notice that you can also pull out, in this case, a lambda minus t raised to the kappa power, because that doesn't involve y. And now we have this right here. Now, as you look at that integral for a while, it might look familiar. That integral right there is the definition of gamma of kappa. That is the gamma function. So it will cancel with this denominator. And we're just left with lambda to the kappa divided by lambda minus t to the kappa for t less than lambda. And you have the same situation as you had before. Here is the t axis. And here is the positive parameter lambda, which means that 0 must lie to the left of it on the number line. It is required that this moment generating function exist in a neighborhood about 0. And I will choose arbitrarily in this case. It looks like about lambda over 3 on the right and lambda, negative lambda over 3 on the left. Here is that neighborhood about 0. The moment generating function exists in that neighborhood because that integral converged for all t values that are less than lambda, so the moment generating function exists, and in this case has a nice closed form to it.